on because it is time to put a star, a Grand Prix star no less, in our old reasonably priced car. Now my guest tonight is a German who won last year's World Championship and this year's He's already put his towel on that as well. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Sebastian Vettel! Now, obviously, first of all, Huge congratulations on your win this afternoon. Um, <laughs> the problem is, obviously, it's Wednesday now. <laughs> but when this oh, okay, goes out, I see. Now I got it. Okay. It'll be Sunday. <laughs> so we've just run. I'm a few... usually not that slow. So. Yeah. <laughs> a few options. Uh, what a shame! Picked at the last moment. <laughs> yeah, and then that, that mistake, half a lap to the end. Oh, so what were you thinking of, man? <laughs> Who could have imagined a giant meteorite would land on the track <laughs> and stop the race like that? And now, a lot of people have been saying it's a boring season. You know that you're going to win every time you watch. But it probably isn't boring from where you're sitting, is it? Never, no. I mean, I, I enjoy, you know. it's. Uh, I think the races are, are quite exciting from what I see. Obviously, I can't follow them live, but... Um... <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, thinking, well, you probably a bit, could. A bit in the monitors around. No, but I think. Do you actually watch the monitors as you're going around the big yeah, screens? Yeah. You do. Sometimes, yeah. I mean, it's not were... because I have so much time and I'm so much <laughs> ahead, but it, it's sometimes quite useful to see, you know, what's going on. So, because um, well, obviously, when they when they are showing some crashes, some birds, then because uh... <laughs> no, Valencia was, let's be honest, a bit boring. I'm afraid I was fast asleep. I, but Valencia, you just can't help. Maybe what? that comes with age, you know. It is. Yeah. <laughs> Sunday afternoon, nod off. Now, I mean, anyway, um, I just run through some of your achievements so far. Obviously, the youngest ever world champion, the youngest person ever to win a Grand Prix, the youngest ever to get a pole position, youngest person ever to score a point, and the youngest person ever to score a fastest lap. What were you like as a baby? <laughs> like the first to use a lavatory. <laughs> I mean, were you always a competitive child? Uh, I think I was always competitive. I'm not sure about the lavatory bit. Uh, I think it took me quite a while to understand, you know, yeah. where you should. <laughs> and... Now, we've got a picture just to demonstrate how young you are, actually, of you meeting our old stick. For the first time, actually, we've got a. There you go, look. <laughs> and that really does. That's. I think that's a rather endearing picture. What was happening there? 1995. Um, and I you was were seven. There was a championship held in Kerpen, which is Michael's hometown. Now, obviously, that must have been a very special moment for a seven-year-old to meet Michael Schumacher, who was yeah. a, was he world champion. He was. Yes. Yeah. He was Double world, world champion. Double world champion yeah. by then. What was it like now when you lap him? Do you not feel, God, this is... Strange. I don't think of this picture, <laughs> for a start. <laughs> but is, it, is it weird? It, it is a bit weird. You know, for me, when I was karting, Michael was the one, you know, the one I was looking up to. So when and you then, lap him now, do you go like that? <laughs> 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 no, I mean... It must be tempting. You know, you know, the thing is, of course, he's a legend, and there's things that I can, you know, learn... Uh, from people like him and drivers like him. So can I just ask you, to be honest now, how much of your current success is down to that Red Bull car? The one we've got over there, in fact. Because Lewis Hamilton said it's just unbelievably quick following the Red Bull. You know, that again, it depends. You know, our car, people know and we know our car, our strength is in high-speed corners because we do produce a lot of downforce. But then he didn't talk you through probably, you know, other tracks where they gain... I don't know, more than half a second down the straights. Well, obviously, you know Adrian Newey because he designed the car that you drive. The, the... I got to know him, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He, I was at school with him. and He, he told to... me that, yeah. Yeah. He used yeah. to copy me in physics. <laughs> really? Yeah, it's really he, did, annoying. He, did, be... he didn't mention that bit. So. No, mention it to him because I used to, I remember coming up with a double diffuser <laughs> and the Kerr system, just doodling, really. And he was like, you know, it was really annoying people at school. Exactly. <laughs> I'd like to mention that to him. And you give all your cars names. The racing cars. The racing cars, yeah. yeah. What are these names? Brian. This year, this year, no. Not <laughs> Brian. No, Roger. No, no. no, this year is Kinky Kylie. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. 
got a nice back end, you know, so. <laughs> <laughs> Last year, it was uh, Luscious Liz. Luscious Liz? Yeah. So it's the year before, like... it was Kate's dirty sister. <laughs> um, now, you're a big fan, I understand, of, well, Britain, actually, but British comedy in particular. Is that right? Correct. At the moment, I'm quite into uh, Little Britain. I think that one is very popular. Yeah. I even that... went to uh, London once to, to see them live. Did you? Yeah, it was quite funny, up to the point where they tried to play that game Hide the Sausage, and he actually <laughs> tried to... <laughs> I mean, you're a Python fan. Did somebody tell me you like Monty Python? Yeah, I do. The first time I saw was The Life of Brian, what? the movie. And uh, I saw it in German, and I found it, it was funny. And then I saw the English version, and I loved it. You know, it's, Where did it's you the same thing. Actually, this show, they show in Germany now for a couple of years now. Um, but you speaking German. No. <laughs> It just, it just doesn't work, you know? No, I can, I can sort of believe that. Because well, one of the reasons why you can, it's easy to appreciate British humour is if you speak really properly good English, which you... Can you even do accents? <laughs> That's a not, yes, isn't it? That was just a yes. Not, not that I knew of. <laughs> can you do Birmingham? Ad, actually, Adrian brought me close to that Brummy accent because he told some stories... Uh, about Nigel Mansell in the past, about the chicane in Monza where he was, I don't know, 10 or 20 kph quicker than Pique at that time. And Pique didn't understand. And then Pat Patrick Head went to Nigel. Adrian obviously was there asking what he's doing. And he said, I just, I just uh, take my hair. <laughs> 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 I just was. I, I just tied my knuckles around the wheel and just go straight. <laughs> Anyway, obviously, you've done many Formula One races and you've been successful in a lot of them. Today's the most important day of your career so far, <laughs> because you're here to do yes. our lap. Yes. How did it go out there? I have no idea. I, I don't know. You know, usually you have reference. People tell you, thumbs up, not so good. Because they don't tell you how... You and the thing is, you know, you, you have got only that car and... You know, I cannot come into the pits and say it's rubbish. Change this, change that. <laughs> you know, I can't. Comp I can complain, but nobody Although bothers. Although I have to say, so... you did ask if you could check the tire pressures before setting off. Yes. That's quite German. Nobody <laughs> else said, "Can we check the tire pressure?" Because this is the only opportunity, really, where Formula One drivers get to drive the same car to see how much faster or slower you are than all the others. Yeah. So that's why I'm. <laughs> Who'd like to see Sebastian's lap? Yeah. Let's have a look. Not a wheel spin. Enough power to spin the wheels, but not much after that. <laughs> Come on. I must say, it's nice to see the old Liana back. And there we are, look, a Formula One driver again taking the wide line there. Chicago, not running wide. Well, I, I, it, it seems stupid. He thinks you will never be on to time. <laughs> <laughs> Obsessed with punctuality even there. Yeah, I don't want to say do you keep it in the lines because you are the Formula One world champion and you have. And you managed to keep it under control on the way out as well, unsurprisingly. This thing is really slow. It isn't. Listen to it, torture tyres, going through the follow-through. 92, 93, 94 miles an hour. Very quick. Very quick. That hurt. The Not jolt. Much. It's a good car. It is. Superb. And into Gambon. Any two-wheel action? None at all. And there we are, ladies and gentlemen, across the line. What's very funny now? You it's just like, leant back. But all the way through, you've done the interview like that, and then you're like, that. Yeah. Where do you think you've come? It was very windy today. Did you see? <laughs> Can you imagine the headwind accelerating? 
When you've got no power. Any more? <laughs> any more excuses? I have a couple lined up. Let's see. <laughs> You're leaning forwards. Well, the fastest we've ever had is Rubens Barrichello, who did it, as we can see, in 1 minute 44.3. You did it in 1 minute. Good start. 40. <laughs> 4. Why are we all surprised? <laughs> I'm surprised. Come on. What, that you're faster than a 62-year-old Brazilian? <laughs> <laughs> I met the stick as well today. I'm faster than the stick, so... No, no, this is old sack stick. We should get rid of him. <laughs> <laughs> New stick hasn't yet been round there. Yeah, he said. There's a rumour he can do it in 56, 57 seconds. A rumour, but we don't know. We'll get that Some through. say, you mean. Some say. <laughs> Lean back. Now I can lean back. You can lean back now. You can relax. Well done for today. <laughs> <laughs> it's fantastic to meet you. <laughs> Anglophile, good guy. Ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Sebastian Vettel. <laughs>